Hello again. Uh, today, let's uh, start the actual uh, the modeling work from the figure 01, talking about the business units for uh, Archimetal. Uh, so if you want to uh, have this uh, case study, uh, I already put this uh, in the repository. Uh, you can download this uh, PDF file, uh, which is the latest version. So, uh, and uh, moving forward is uh, for the first uh, the, uh, the view, actually starting from the challenges, uh, talking about the company background uh, and the organization structure. So if you uh, examine the uh, this, uh, uh, the table of content, so first uh, the, uh, the chapter is more from the business architecture, talking about the value stream, the, rationale is of the requirements and the assays uh, process. Uh, for this, uh, the case study is not like uh, uh, the Archisurance. Uh, Archisurance is our insurance company. Now Archimetal is a manufacturing company. So, uh, so uh, when we do this uh, modeling work, if you read on the introduction, so you can see here, uh, so uh, it, it is uh, used uh, uh, the uh, this case study is uh, uh, is better uh, to practice. Uh, one is uh, TOGA for standards. Secondly, is uh, no doubt is our Archimed uh, modeling language. Uh, and another thing is uh, interesting is that this uh, ISA uh, the uh, ninety five, uh, which is the uh, uh, the. Uh, our standard is coming from the International Society of Automation. Uh, so since this is the metal uh, the production or manufacturing company, so some of the concept is coming from this uh, machinery uh, industry. Uh, so I put uh, over uh, the view is uh, uh, starting from zero to about 32. But actually, uh, if you uh, read through this, uh, after 33, uh, they, they also have um, uh, further uh, views uh, uh, up to uh, the 40 or more, uh, which are uh, modeled through this uh, ISA 95 uh, standard. Uh, we will uh, examine that is uh, how uh, later on we can use uh, this argument uh, language to uh, pre represent this uh, ISA 95. Uh, so, but we first focus on the first uh, 34 or 32 uh, the views and uh, make the modeling uh, practice. Uh, so for today is the within the first uh, challenge chapter is uh, we are working on this uh, figure one. The figure one uh, is uh, talking about the organization. So. Uh, please uh, read this uh, company background. Uh, so uh, then you you will have some ideas. Uh, what are the uh, the uh, the real uh, the initialized uh, background from the Archimetal as a company, uh, and then this uh, from the organization structure. Uh, the since this is the manufacturing company, they have the production center and the distribution center because you need to procure the material, produce material, uh, the product then. You need to through your distribution channel to uh, sell, uh, go to the uh, selling point, then go uh, to sell your product. So that is uh, quite different to the insurance company. And then this for the manufacturing is uh, you may either have the ERP or MES. So that is uh, also not existed in the financial industry, uh, but in the manufacturing industry, you may need to. Uh, model uh, those uh, ERP related context. Uh, so first thing first is uh, for this uh, uh, the first uh, figure. Uh, so you can see uh, from the organization uh, point of view is uh, we use uh, uh, the business actor uh, to model this uh, the, as the uh, from a big company uh, box is Archimetal. And then we uh, the separate that into the HQ, the PC, uh, DC, uh, and then this, uh, we, we have some uh, assays, uh, the organization structure. So all these are nested uh, in the hierarchy uh, and use the same uh, notation uh, of the uh, this uh, business actor. Uh, so uh, be, uh, let's uh, do this uh, quickly. So. 
uh, we have this uh, RK practice, uh, uh, the uh, RK metal practice uh, model already opened. Uh, let's create our uh, the uh, this kind of uh, the folder. So we, we can see that is the challenges uh, folder, and we. Uh, as we mentioned, this uh, we will uh, start to reuse this uh, uh, the default view, duplicate that, and move to here. Rename so figure zero one business unit. Uh, yeah, since uh, there's nothing uh, in the model tree now, so it, uh, let's uh, just uh, uh, drag uh, here, so, and then they will uh, put into the uh, the. Uh, the root folder, uh, and then we uh, we will uh, move that uh, to uh, the subfolder uh, for the while well, uh, the uh, the arrange your notation uh, and the element. So here you can see this uh, business actor. Uh, so we drag here and starting to do the uh, the model. So key metal. So that is uh, over level one, and we have a level two. One is the HQ. Let's uh, copy paste. Secondly, uh, is the press F2. Then you have the production center. You can change name and then the paste F2. So DC Penny looks Belgium. And we have uh, other DCs the same. Another so DC is the Europe. It's uh, one European uh, oriented company. And then we uh, we may have uh, three uh, the headquarters things. You can copy this uh, three. So uh, make that uh, quick. So quality management finance HR. Then we, uh, we have, uh, let, let's copy this for, so for the second layer is the production, procurement, logistics, sales. So, uh, let's uh, put that uh, together, you have uh, another three we just uh, one more three so you can put this anywhere yeah, because we will later on is uh, make this uh, hierarchy relation so now it's just uh, adding the uh, components for sure last one is the customer relations okay so because we we will put this uh, inside uh, the bank uh, any looks so let's make this uh, bigger and see Put that inside. Choose your relation. By default, it's a composition. So uh, we mentioned in the uh, earlier video. Uh, uh, so you can choose uh, and uh, define your uh, the relationship. Uh, the this relationship uh, so the, the uh, by default is starting from composition, but they also suggest you can use aggregation specialization. Uh, but uh, bear in mind is. Uh, uh, Try not to use uh, the different uh, relation uh, for the same context. For example, if you choose a composition here and you put uh, the base element inside this, you choose the aggregation, that will create some invisible uh, the complexity when you do the analysis. For example, you, if you want to extract your model to uh, the analytical tool like Power BI to uh, do the uh, reporting, you will face this uh, multiple uh, the relations. So uh, by any means, is uh, try to keep uh, simple if you uh, and consistent. If you use uh, composition, uh, just uh, keep using the composition for the same type of the relation. But it's the old case uh, if you want to use uh, uh, aggregation, if you think that is more uh, relevant for your case. Uh, and I. I think it's a way uh, from the RK2 is uh, if you go to the preference uh, numbers uh, here, we have the, the relations uh, connection. So let's say 
here. So uh, that is uh, certain things is uh, you can do uh, kind of the, uh, the customization. So that is the, the, uh, the R key relationship manager, uh, automatic or relationship manager. So uh, why they come to the first uh, three? Because it's way set is this five uh, as of a relation type offered when creating new relation. Uh, and this uh, relation type to hide when element are nested. So this we are not show. So, but uh, the reason we have that the three because it's uh, from the business actor to business actor is only in the, uh, the three of these five uh, allowed. Uh, but if you want to uh, activate others, uh, you can also uh, do that. And if you don't want this uh, uh, access to be pop up, you can uncheck this. Uh, so it will not be automatically uh, show you. So uh, that is uh, one tactic uh, if you want to uh, make some better uh, the uh, kind of the automation. So uh, let's do this uh, production center. So we have this uh, procurement uh, production center is uh, four. So for parts is uh, product uh, procurement uh, logistic and the sales. So you can feel is uh, that organization is also uh, matching for what this company uh, or your company is doing. So how you uh, arrange your resources. And the HQ, we have uh, the three. So we have a quality, we have a finance that is a kind of the, the common uh, the, or horizontal organization. So we put that uh, here to them. Uh, we, we have this uh, put second is the production and we have uh, our DC here uh, Benny Lutz is uh, here so now it's uh, quite uh, uh, good prepared for the our structure then select all put that inside your company so all keep use the composition so that is uh, here so you, you have done your first uh, the view on the business units. So you, uh, so keep uh, updating uh, this one through the property. So if you are changing, uh, it's the same day, so I, I don't uh, the need to change that. If you go to another day, you make some uh, updates, uh, ensure is, uh, you, you make this uh, change. Uh, so, so everyone will look at uh, their, this uh, well, to know is uh, you did some change on this one. Then if uh, uh, someone is uh, have questions, uh, they will come to you. So uh, that is the, uh, the suggestion is to keep this uh, up to date and don't uh, forget about to, uh, to change that. Uh, so congratulations, is, uh, we finished the first uh, video and we will keep uh, adding those uh, into uh, the, uh, the, uh, the later uh, the, uh, the repository. So if you come to here, uh, uh, there will be uh, our folder uh, later on. Uh, and through here is uh, every chapter, uh, I will uh, add those uh, the the folders uh, information and with the model with the video and also export this uh, the image uh, so you will see the fully detail uh, of what we have done and you can uh, download uh, also from the repository uh, thank you for watching uh, looking forward to see you in the next video bye for now